What's up, guys? Hey, listen. I got a request here from somebody. They wanted to know how I fit the Evolve Gear Hub inside these no-name, no-brand wheels that you can find all over the internet. So, I told him I'd make a video and explain it to him. But, it's not necessary because I found someone that actually sells these gear hubs that would work with these wheels. It's a little bit different style. It is held on uh, by not pressure of the nut holding that in there, but yet it's all clamped together. So it's got a piece here and a piece here and you screw them together and that's what keeps it tight. It, call, it comes from a company called Miami Electric Skateboards. Just in case you don't want to purchase them, I think they're like 12 bucks or something like that. It, it's a whole lot less than what Evolve would charge for theirs, that's for sure. If you don't want to purchase it, and you have this hub, and you already have the wheels, and you just want to ride today, like I did, it, it's not hard to get this to work. What it is, is the difference is the size of these holes here on the outside. These holes are a lot smaller than like the ABEC 11 or the uh, Evolve Street 83 millimeter wheels. So what I had to do was I had to chase these holes out with a drill bit. And I would go just like this. Oop, wrong one, sorry. On each side and keep going around and it elongates this hole right here and I do it bit by bit and I push the hub in and I would look and I would see where the clearances are and I you, 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 took me I would lie if I said it was anything less than about a half hour a wheel it, it did feel like it took a little bit of time um, really I just wanted to see if it would work and I wanted to use these wheels right away I didn't want to have to wait. I had had them. I was sick of the 83 millimeter wheels because they do not work good at all in my neighborhood. Absolutely the worst choice of wheel in my neighborhood. This is actually a 90 millimeter wheel. I do have the same exact wheel in 97 millimeter and I suppose I'm gonna try them out sometime too. One thing I can tell you is I got these off of eBay. These wheels are absolutely awesome absolutely awesome they're perfect for what i use them for might not be perfect for you but the way my roads are with all the rocks and all that crap these just suck up rocks and toss them right out i, I don't have a, a, a any problem sliding around or anything like that so they're not too hard they're not too soft it is definitely perfect um, i'm going to leave the link for miami electric skateboards in the description if you scroll down through their shop, about maybe halfway down, you will see the hubs. And they also have uh, uh, some other cool stuff in there you might want to check out. They sell controllers. Um, they sell all sorts of electronic parts. They have a 12S, uh, what they call like a sneaky battery or sneaky pack or something like that. It's only 200 bucks for a 12S battery pack. They have a carbon fiber deck, 300 bucks. Only 300 bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good price. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, they're hard to find those blank carbon fiber decks. They're not easy to find. Miami Electric Skateboards has them. Um, if you're a DIY and you're working with multi-battery packs and you got to individually charge each one, they do sell a kit that makes it one charging port. Real easy to wire up. Not expensive at all. These guys are not expensive. And I've talked to them through email a bunch of times. I, I actually initially wanted to see if they would make a hub for me because I wanted to purchase a bunch and then sell them on eBay. Um, and they told me, listen, we sell these wheels and the hub that we sell fits these wheels. So that's it. If you want to purchase the hub, they got them. Check the description. If not, you can always chase these out. Do I recommend using a regular drill bit? No, I don't. If you had a fluted drill bit, that's what I would use. I didn't have a fluted drill bit at the time. And that means it actually has, it's, it cuts on the outside and it doesn't bore straight through. Because this isn't 
the, you don't get the best cutting quality from the sides. It cuts from the top through a drill bit like this. So you want something that's got the cutters on the side. That's all I got for right now, guys. I promised you I'd give you that video. There it is. Everybody, take it easy. I'm working on another video right now, too. Putting together some stuff. I, I got a few things here to show you guys. Just hang tight, all right? Hang tight. You know, I'm a really busy dude, but I'll get the video out there for you. Guys, have a great one. I'll talk to you later. Peace.